Hello and welcome to my channel. Go ahead, hit the like, hit the share, subscribe if you haven't already. Isn't it interesting watching all of these industry fallouts and it all is revolving around money? You got all these people from back in the day who are realizing all that money they should have was spent by somebody else. You got people coming out doing their interviews, passing blame against this person and that person. And when I applied a little common sense towards the most controversial topic, you would think I was talking in a foreign language considering most of these people you see now trying to promote their music and or reality TV shows or even their YouTube channels had a close relationship towards Robert Kelly and watched all of these janky ass people be given platforms to slander this man's character as they sit around and have the same problems he clearly has. Now, the issue I had and presented on my channel all this time is, what difference does it make my opinion on the allegations when we keep seeing the same tactics being used across the board in this janky ass industry and nobody paying attention to how everybody is so busy going back and forth with one another they can't come together and get out of these janky ass contracts much less recoup any of their assets and other intellectual property they may be owed like i said with robert kelly Take him out of the equation and factor in any given artist who's not schooled on the business and how certain individuals maneuver to keep them in these slave contracts beefing with one another for who's going to get top bill like we see now. You talked about like I've seen you talk about the SWV and Escape show mm -hmm. and you say it's dramatic. What is at the root of the drama? Our group. <laughs> My but group. Is all, we always got a lot of drama. Okay, so this time around, it's not just me. I'm just okay. I guess I guess I can say I don't want to say too much, obviously, because y'all gonna have to watch whenever it airs. But um, the sisters, they are not on the same page this year. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, and so it's uh, interesting because anytime we all know, I mean, I've had family drama on on um while filming and it's like anytime you have family drama while filming it just just intensifies everything have y'all ever thought about doing like a group therapy session that's what somebody said it's like y'all need therapy now, everybody who has gotten familiar with the group Escape knows the long history of drama that follows them, whether it's them beefing with each other or somebody else. But it's funny people will skip past that and still support them just like people skip past all the allegations from the Me Too era that came towards them. All the jokes about these sex dungeons that Candy allegedly had. And then all the the attachments to alleged predators and perpetrators within the industry who dedicated so much time slandering Robert Kelly that the general public don't understand why people still support Robert Kelly over these people that have been used as bad act witnesses in order to manufacture the most janky RICO case in history. Now that people have been softened up to looking at more of the facts around the case and how a lot of these people within the industry look a little foolish considering, as I previously said, they know this man, have worked with this man, and even some have stayed with this man. So to gravitate and or remain quiet when they know the root to a lot of these allegations and it has nothing to do with sexual assault is why I lost a lot of respect for a lot of these people and have no sympathy watching them squabble over bullshit when it comes to these janky ass industry contracts. And you probably saying, why, Prima, why? 
because it don't make no damn sense that you have an artist such as Robert Kelly who was signed to pretty much the same damn record company no matter how many times it was sold off and renamed etc this man should have had more assets to his name but then when you see the practices behind the business the people that are willing to throw each other under the bus, sacrifice each other in order to keep getting on certain platforms, get certain reality shows, and keep elevating in the industry, I don't give a shit about the fact that they want to now manipulate certain things in order to liquidate their assets. Meanwhile, the people in the real world have been talking about these issues for Ever, when it comes to civil rights violations, slave contracts, slave labor, etc. So I find it very amusing that certain individuals want to hear my commentary so bad and they have missed the point that I've said. Everything that I say is much bigger than the topic of R. Kelly when people can't understand everyday people go through similar things, not these type of allegations, but the type of targeting profiling, civil rights violations that people will conveniently skip around depending on if they like you or not, okay? So as we watch these celebrities exploit each other's personal lives and even beef over the bag, let's not forget there's an individual who was wrongfully convicted, who was wrongfully accused, who is fighting for his life, waiting on people who know him to stand up and speak on the truth considering they were there. trying to stay out of trouble but trouble just find the fuck out of me trouble just find the fuck out of me